Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So guys, for the past five years, we have been giving solutions for various NPTEL courses, including Introduction to Internet of Things course. So let's see the week one solutions, guys. So please encourage us so that we can do more videos in further weeks. So I tried my best to give you the most probable solutions, guys. So if there are any changes to be made further, then definitely I will update it in the comment section if it come to my notice. So please watch the video till the end guys. Don't skip the video. Let's see the first question. What is IOT? IOT stands for. So for first question, the answer is very easy one. That is Internet of Things. So mark option C as correct answer for first question. Next, moving on to the second question. Second one, which of the following technologies have unified and has resulted in evolution of IoT? So for second question, I have got the answer as option D, none of these guys, because it, no, it should not be high power, it should be low power and it is not super computing, it is cloud computing and uh, there is no engine technology here so uh, i'm going with option d none of these cases so if you want to suggest me any different solution you can please do that in the comment section so that we can try to discuss but i think most probable these are the correct answers yes so with five years of nptl experience we are giving these solutions guys third question moving on to the third one which of the following are the enablers actually it should be enablers enablers of iot so for third question the answer is very easy one that is all of these so mark option d all of these as the correct answer guys so rfid nanotechnology and sensors so all of this is the correct answer next moving on to the fourth one Fourth question, which of the following is not, not a function of IOT gateway, not a function of IOT gateway. So for fourth question, the answer is option C guys, both A and B, both a and B that means option A connects the IoT LAN to a van and next can implement so several LAN and van. So option C both of these I mean both A and B is the correct answer. So mark option C. Next moving on to the fifth question. State whether the following statement is true or false. So let's read this statement guys first. The ITU vision is approaching reality as a present day network device have outnumbered humans on earth. So the fifth question. So for fifth question the answer is, I mean the statement is absolutely true guys. So mark option A. Next, moving on to the sixth question. In multi homing, a node or network is connected to multiple networks for improved reliability. So, for sixth question, the answer is option A true. That means the statement is true. So, mark option A. Moving on to the seventh question. Which of the following are the features of an IOT gateway? IOT gateway. So for seventh question, all these three options are correct. All these three options are correct. So mark option D, all of this. Next, moving on to the eighth question, guys. So guys, please like the video and subscribe our channel and please share this with your friends and classmates in your WhatsApp groups 
so that everyone will be able to note note these visions solutions so keep supporting us guys to do the further videos so that this will be very huge encouragement for us to continue the videos so please like, definitely like the video then only our videos will appear in suggestions for other students also so please do that so before getting into this eighth question i want to make a small announcement guys so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs so for the course introduction to iot we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs guys with 5 years of nptel experience so here you will get a huge number of 300 mcqs guys 300 mcqs in a google drive pdf restricted link so these are the combination of previous years mcqs as well as our own handmade questions extracted from the nptel syllabus so 300 mcqs you'll get guys so for one person it is just 3 300 rupees only last time we have given for 500 but this time we have reduced the price in order to benefit the students so if you are only one person no need to worry you will get it for 300 rupees only the 300 mcqs if you are two to five persons you can combinedly buy it for 500 guys you can even more reduce the price if you buy in groups even if you are only one person no need to worry you can get it for 300 only not 500 so for two to five persons combinedly you will get it for 500 so please share this news with your classmates and friends as well so that you can form groups and you can buy this pack guys for less price so if you want to purchase then mail me to this email id guys pk179417 at gmail.com so remember guys only if you want to purchase then only mail me guys because many students are mailing us to get the pdf so we have to arrange everyone in the priority order so first come first serve will be followed guys so if you want this pack please message us the earliest so that we can give access you'll get the access within 5 minutes of the payment guys so this is the mail id i'll give the same email in the description box as well so there is other pack also guys so that is the youtube membership youtube membership but here you only get 100 plus mcqs guys it is only for one person and for one month and the price is 89 rupees but available only in video format not pdf so if you want this youtube membership of 100 plus mcqs just go to our channel page so type s kumar edu in the search box like this then our page will appear so beside this subscribe button there is a join button right so click on this join button and a window will open like this so select the second one videos only for members pack so select this one and click on join button again in this uh, this blue join button and uh, follow follow up with the proceedings guys so that you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all of our members only videos so here you can see members only videos so we have prepared many videos on different different types of courses so here you can see iot part 2 prepared and part 1 also prepared guys so you can get all these videos and other subject videos also you'll get all the for same 89 rupees guys no extra charge needed so you'll get all for 89 rupees only but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcq spec in a google drive pdf link because you are getting more number of mcqs and you can cover more syllabus and you can get it in pdf pack so you can easily revise and easily scroll that you can easily revise that while going to the examination hall itself so it will get it will help you to revise very fast guys and cover almost all part of the syllabus so already many hundreds of students have taken our pack guys and got benefited last time 75% they have scored guys so 300 mcq spec for one person it is 300 and for two to five person it is 500 rupees guys so this is the mail id if you want to purchase pdf pack then mail me to this email id guys i'll give the same email id in the description box as well but if you want youtube membership no need to mail me you can directly go to our channel page and click on the join button and join the channel guys so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so eighth question state true or false iot proxy performs active application layer functions between iot nodes and other entities is this statement true or false so it is absolutely true so mark option a as correct answer for eighth question option a next moving on to the ninth one 
नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन So the ninth one, the so the gateway has a dash address prefix, which can be used to identify them globally. So for ninth question, the answer is option B, guys. Unique. So mark option B. Next. Tenth question: The IPv4 notation uses dash number of bits to represent an address. So for tenth question, once again, it is option B, thirty-two guys. So mark option B. Option B. Next, eleventh question. Eleventh one. The destination address field in the IPv4 header is of dash bits in length. So for eleventh question, it is option A, thirty-two. Thirty-two is the answer, guys. So mark option A. Twelfth question. we can sense temperature using what so generally we use sensor right but sensor is also a part of transducer so option b is the probable solution for 10th question so mark option b now let's move on to the 13th question state true or false statement is a sensor is not only sensitive to the measured property but it also influences the measured property actually the sensor is not sensitive guys but they have given not only sensitive so it is false option b guys next 14th question based on the output sensors are classified as what so for 14th question it is option b analog and digital analog and digital so mark option b as correct answer for 14th question guys and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 15th one so before moving into this 15th question i want to once again make you remember guys so we are providing a huge number of 300 mcqs in a google drive pdf restricted link so these are the combination of previous cs mcqs as well as our own handmade nptel material extracted questions guys so 100% nptel syllabus oriented guys no deviations so for 1% it is just 300 rupees only guys and if you are 2 to 5 persons if you take it as combinedly then you can get it for 500 rupees only guys so mail me to this email id if you want to purchase the pack so take it now itself guys so that you can get more time at the back end to uh, revise guys so now let's see the other thing also so youtube membership guys if you want only 100 plus mcqs you can try this youtube membership pack just go to our channel page and buy that with 1800 rupees pack guys only available in video format it is only for one person and one month so that's it guys now let's get, get back to the last question what is the full form of smp in the context of iot actuators actually it is shape memory polymers guys but none of these mentioned that so option d none of this is the correct answer guys so mark option d so friends these are the solutions for week one assignment of iot course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and please share this with your friends and classmates and don't forget to take this 300 mcqs package it will be very very helpful for you in the preparation for the final exam so that's it guys so keep supporting us like this so until the next video good